hello everyone welcome back so this particular video is going to be on python variables which is lecture 3 of python concepts okay so before getting into the actual concept let me first brief out what exactly is a variable okay how do you define a variable so what are variables variables are containers for storing data for storing values or data right so we need to store data before performing any computation we need to store data into a variable and then we have to perform the computation part okay so we need to declare or define any variable right so this is the actual definition of variables now let me teach you how to create variable in python let me create how to create create variable let me teach you how to create variable in python okay so all the three lines are comment lines fine okay now a is a variable name equal to 10 what have what i have done i am assigning 10 into variable a so it is from right to left i'm assigning value from right to left okay so what is the value of a it is 10 next i'll give b is equal to within double quotes i write rohini aravindan fine how many variables are here? I've used two different variables, variable A and name variable B. Fine. What is the value of variable A? It is 10. I'm assigning right to left. I'm putting 10 into A. Rohini Aravindan. It is string. This is an integer value. This is a string. You got it? So what is a string? Collection of characters. More than one character is nothing but string. But what is an integer value? It is a whole number. Fine. It is a number that can be stored into a it is a constant this is not a constant okay 10 is constant so i'm sure it's storing into a variable okay now let me print both the values how do i print print of variable name just give print of variable name this is the syntax C line number 10 print a okay now if i want to print previous examples print within double quotes i had given hello welcome back okay hello welcome back see the difference here see the difference between line number 9 and line number 10 print within double quotes i've written some content okay now what will happen when i run the particular code when i run the program the line number 9 will print the sentence which has been put within double quotes fine but when i want to print the value that is stored in a variable then you have to only specify print a a should not be put within double quotes when you put a within double quotes it will print a as the output and not the value of a okay now let's run the code here See the output, hello, welcome back. Line number 9 gets executed. Hello, welcome back. 7 and 8, it's only assigning the values and I'm trying to print the value here. Line number 10, 11, print A. It will print the value of 10. Okay. Now, if I type, if I add one more sentence, print statement, print of within double quotes A. What will happen? Let us run. You will get hello, welcome back. 10 that is value a line number 9 and see line number 10 the same a i've put within double quotes now what what exactly the interpreter is doing it is considering any sentence within double quotes as string so it will print the value a as it is within double quotes okay but when you give without double quote it would be considered as you're trying to display the value of a okay you understood in order to print the value that is stored in any variable you have to only specify the variable name and you should not specify the variable name within double quotes. You got it? Okay. Now, I'll teach you one more way of printing. If I type print within single quote A, now what's happening? Double quote means I said within double quotes, whatever you specify, that should be a string that is considered as a string. I have put a character, a string within single quotes. Now, let's run. What happened? I have got hello welcome back 10 because line number 11 I am trying to print the value of A then 12 I am printing string 14 also I am printing a string so how do you represent either you can use two double quotes or you can use two single quotes in order to print okay the same thing instead of double quotes I can use single quote here line number 9 you will get the same output now let's check see you will get the same output. Okay, so these are different ways of printing 
the string and how to create a variable line number 7 and 8 creating a variable and how to print line number 10 will 11 will tell you how to print the value stored in a variable okay now let me clear all these lines now i'll teach you suppose if i'm giving a value as 10 again i'm giving a value as rohini arabindan okay now how many variables i have used i have used two variables okay what are the names Vari variable names are a itself okay now i'll try to print the value of a what is the value of a that you'll be getting first time value of a is 10 second time it is rewriting the value of a by rohini aravindan so obviously the output should be rohini aravindan and not 10 now let's check that see the output is the recently reinitialized value of the variable will be considered okay you understood okay now let's move on to the next topic instead of creating the next topic is type casting type casting so what is type casting changing the type of data changing the type of data is called as type casting i'll teach you with an example okay i'll have a a is equal to str of 10 i'll give str of 10 what is this previously i had given if I, if you just recap a is equal to 10 okay now a is an integer value i'm trying to store integer value into a but here see line number 7 what i'm doing i'm trying to type cast which means before the integer value i'm prefixing it with str function str opening and closing brackets okay now what is this doing it is considering 10 to be a string and not as an integer understood so integer has been converted into string so that conversion is called as type casting i'm trying to change from one data form into another data form from integer to string okay now i'll give b is equal to int of 10 it is int of 10 which means string is being typecasted into integer okay now next one c is equal to float what is float decimal values are called as float data type float everything in lowercase it is case sensitive okay all decimal values okay float of 10 i give float of 10 okay now let us try to print the values print of a it is string value print of b it is an integer value print of c it is a floating point value okay same value now let's run the code if you see the output it's very easy for you to analyze see the first one line number 13 it is a string so i'm trying to print string as 10 here then b now this will be considered as an integer value this type casting you will understand in uh, future lectures okay why this type casting is actually required okay now just understand if i prefix any value with int that will be type casted into the integer data type that would be type casted into floating point data type see the output here 10.0 i have given only 10 okay when you are trying to convert an integer into decimal values then it would be used made with the help of float data type it's called as data type integer data type string data type and float data type okay they are called as data type got it so there are three data types here understood okay now let me clear i hope you understood type casting now let's move on to case sensitive the other topic is variables are case sensitive what do you mean by case sensitive uppercase letters and lowercase letters are considered as different okay even though same variables are there when you type in lowercase it is considered as lowercase when you type in uppercase it is considered as uppercase letters okay for example a is equal to 10 okay capital a is equal to rohini aravindan okay now see here when you're trying to specify a string you have to put it within double quotes but without double quotes it would it would be considered as an integer okay now try, let me try to print both the variables a 
print capital A. What would be the output? It is case sensitive, right? A is different, capital A is different. When I run the code, you will get 10 and Rohini Aravindan. So it is case sensitive. This is an example uh, for you to understand what exactly is case sensitive. Okay. Next one. The next concept is going to be on naming a variable. How do we name a variable? Naming a variable. Okay. Naming a variable. Okay. I'll use simple sentence. Please note down every variable should begin with alphabet or underscore or underscore followed by alphabets okay or alphabets followed by numbers clear okay these are few hints in order to name a variable how do we name a variable okay now let me use a b is equal to rohini okay i can use a underscore b is equal to rohini then i can use underscore a b is equal to Rohini. Fine. Then I can make use of AB1 is equal to Rohini. Clear? Fine. Now, after initializing, see here, A, B are variables. A, B is a variable. It is a single variable because I have not given space here. You should not give A space B. Okay, you have to give a, b as one single word. a, b is equal to Rohini. Now, let me make use of print statement. Print a, b. Then, I'll add one more print statement. Print a underscore b. Then, print underscore a, b. After this line, print a, b one okay all these are valid variable names now let us check whether it is a valid variable name or not a valid variable name by running the code you see i've used four print statements i've got the output same output so you could give name a variable using these rules it, it could be only alphabets or you can combine two different strings using underscore or you can begin it with underscore or, or you can have only underscore okay or you can have letters combination of letters followed by any number of numbers but if i give one a b is equal to rohini and when i try to print one a b okay variable name should not begin with a number please note down variable should not begin with a number i'll just add comment variable names should not begin with numbers which means it has to throw a syntax error i told you what is syntax error in the first lecture right now let's run the code now what happens see file name line number 15 this is how you have to go debug line number 15 go to line number 15 what is the error 1 a b is equal to rohini okay syntax error invalid decimal literal it is an invalid literal okay so it will throw up error like this okay so this is how you name a particular variable you can have only alphabets or you can combine multiple alphabets with underscore or you can begin with an underscore or you can have alphabets followed by numbers but it should not begin with a number it will drop syntax error okay okay I, I hope you understood the concept next i'll teach you in the next video i'll be teaching you how to assign a single how to assign multiple values to a variable okay thank you